Hi, this is Richard at Data Edo. Today let's talk about entity relationship diagrams, or ERDs, like this one that I'm showing here in the web catalog. Entity relationship diagrams are always created in the desktop app. So let's move over there. And here we see the empty canvas associated with the people subject area. Entity relationship diagrams are only associated with subject areas. So we have the canvas and to put objects into the ERD, we can simply drag and drop them from this panel over here on the right hand side. And based on the relationships that exist in our object definitions among the tables, it will create these relationships. You can drag these over one at a time and organize them, or a different way is we can put them all on at one time. So I'm going to multi-select there and drag all of them on. Asks if we want to add all of them. Yes, we do. And we get all of those on the canvas at one time. I'm going to pause the video and rearrange these and then I'll come back. Okay, I'm back. What I did was reorganize these entities on the canvas so that they make more sense and it shows the relationships between them better. Um, <clears throat> just a comment about how that's done. You can pick these objects up and drag them around and move them, drop them wherever you want them. You can also multi-select and move them as a group if that makes more sense for you. These relationships here show that there are relationships between these objects as defined in the data, the metadata that you imported from your data source. The hover there tells what the relationship is. The solid line indicates that it did come from the source. In instances where the relationship isn't defined in your data source, you can create those manually. I will create a couple of them down here from this view to these two tables to show how that's done. You simply right click on the table that you want to be the foreign key table. Right click, choose add relationship, drag it to the primary key table and click again to drop. <clears throat> and that brings up this dialog where the relationship is defined. And Data Edo will look for the primary key and the foreign key columns and define those if it can. If it doesn't find them, you will, you will be able to select and define those yourself. But in this case it did, so we'll click save to accept it. And notice here it is a dotted line indicating that it was a user defined. Let's create one more. Right click, add relationship, drag, click and verify that and accept the relationship. And here we see those two relationships defined. Another thing about the relationships is that you can choose to show the join condition or not. Simply right click on the relationship line and choose show join condition and you can see there we see the primary and foreign key columns indicated. I'm going to take that back off. I don't want to show them, but it is possible if you wanted to do that. The next thing here is that, remember we drug all of the objects that were in the subject area, we dragged them from over here into the canvas. Um, now notice that there are a bunch of different suggested entities over here. This is based on the relationships that exist from any of the tables on the canvas to other objects. And you can see this better if we choose one particular one. So from the person table, we have four additional joins out there that are possibilities. And you can drag these onto the canvas as well from that selected entities. So we're just going to grab that one, drag it in, drop it. And you can see there is a relationship between person and person credit card. Now with this selected, we see credit card is now a suggested entity there. We can drag that in and show that. Um, when I put these two in, I did have this automatically add to subject area option selected. That means that as soon as we save, these entities will appear in the subject area list over here. If we did not want that to happen, we can simply deselect that and let's choose another table to drag in. Let's go with this country region currency. When I drag that in, there it is right there and we see there is a relationship but because this was not selected when I save this one will not show up in this list it will still be on the ERD but it won't be 
technically included in the list of tables uh, part of the subject area. So you can create a, a little bit different view of your ERD there if you want to. Um, what we're going to do though is we're going to remove these. I don't want to have any of them in the diagram. All right, the next thing I want to show here is that the list of objects, the list of columns found in each object is limited here, as you can see, to the key columns in each one. And if we right click on there, the show columns, we do see that we have several options. Show all columns, show key columns, and hide all columns. For all of these tables, it is currently set to show key columns only. I'm going to change that for the views and we're going to right click show columns and show all columns in these cases. The purpose for this is so that people using this ERD they can quickly understand what's available in each view and see if what they need is actually there. So I'm going to leave it like that. Next I am going to change the color coding of all of these objects. I'm going to make it so that all of the tables are color coded with blue. You can see they've all got the blue headers there and I'm going to make the views color coded as green. There we go right there. So you can see that. Notice there is no relationship between this view and anything over here. You could create one. Of course you do have a key column here, the business entity ID, that would probably join to right there on business entity if you wanted to. But what I'm trying to represent here is that the data in this view comes from the combination of data in the entire subject area. So I don't want to define a particular relationship there. I just want to represent that this data is part of the subject area without showing a defined relationship. Now with all of that work done, I'm going to go back to the web catalog, remind us what the original ERD looked like that we were going to try to recreate. And if I go back to the desktop now, notice this one is off center, just to illustrate there is a difference there. I'm going to save this. And now when I go to the web catalog and I refresh, you can see there that is off center and showing that we did, we did make all that. We recreated all of this new and it was that easy to create this ERD.